everybody welcome to another video my name is infinity and today i am back with another centro knitting machine video this is not a tutorial let me preface this video by saying that this is simply a guide to see what yarns work with the centro knitting machine so today i am here with this relatively new line of yarn called this yarn is it it's by goucher yarn which is a small business that I enjoy supporting and she was so kind enough to send me a little care package with this yarn in it and so today as promised I will be showing you whether or not this yarn works in the Centro knitting machine. I'm here today with my Centro 32 knitting machine and today's test is going to be an entire mystery because I haven't actually tested this yarn out but it does look like something that should work in the machine so we're just going to get started today. I am going to, let me see I was working on a project with this so we are going to go ahead and find the beginning there making sure I'm in tube knitting mode. I'm gonna just make sure it doesn't give me any struggle while we're recording here. All right, so I'm gonna find the center string, but also Melissa from Goucher Yarns was also kind enough to provide me with a discount code, which I will tell you guys about at the end of this video after we have knit up our sample swatch. All right, I have found that center string, so I am going to cast on as I normally would. If you are looking for Centro Knitting Machine tutorials, I do have a separate playlist back on my channel where I troubleshoot this machine um, from start to more advanced things, and I also have project tutorials on that playlist as well. So if you want to check that out, get head over to my channel page today and hit that playlist button, and it'll be right there. I'm going to pop this yarn in the largest tension guide. I'm just feeling really smooth. I like the texture of this a lot. So I'm I'm very hopeful about it. But now I'm going to start cranking on it. Okay, no popping, no grinding. I'm loving this. I don't see any skip stitches so far, but these first few rows can sometimes be a little deceiving, not gonna lie. one's actually giving me trouble. Okay, one thing I am definitely noticing with this yarn is that in certain spots, my machine does not like to pick it up um, properly. So as I start to crank it'll of course it's not doing it now there we go it'll do it'll do this so it'll start picking up like the back loop and keeping it up there like there's too much friction or something in it for the machine to want to um, play nicely with it though it could just be remedied by pushing that thread down this is like a four weight yarn so usually i'm a little more tentative about using a four weight yarn in the machine but I think I think this could actually be made to work more so this might be more user error than anything but I'm going to 
crank up a few more rows of this try to get a smoother crank on it and see where maybe I'm going wrong with it and then I'll come back with a swatch and we can talk about my findings then All right, so this is the swatch of fabric that I got. And as you can see, I was mixed struggling um, in the beginning of it. So at the beginning, I have to say, um, I feel like part of my problem lied in maybe the tension. So this yarn could probably stand to not be popped into the tension guide at all. My machine didn't grind or pop or anything like that. But as I did mention earlier in the video, Sometimes when the machine was going around, as the hook would come up, the yarn would like stick on it up at the top as though it didn't have enough glide to just come down on the back like it's normally supposed to. So that caused a little bit of tucking as you can see definitely on the outside of this fabric um, in the beginning. But as I continued to crank, it actually got a lot smoother. So um, that in part came from the lack of tension because I started hollowing out the center of this yarn. So perhaps if you're going to use this um, particular yarn on the central knitting machine, I recommend like caking it or rolling it into a ball first so you have less of a resistance while you're cranking, which will help um, in the long run with any tucking or catching. A little bit about this particular yarn. It is a four-weight yarn. Let's see if I can get that focused in for you. It is a four weight yarn um, and it is a 100% premium acrylic. It's considered worsted or medium. Like I said, um, it's 6.8 ounces of yarn and each ball contains 320 yards of said fiber. She has 54 colors of this yarn available and if I can say anything about Melissa's yarns it's that she offers a lot of color variety and they're always more impressive um, of course in person as, as is all yarn um, if I must say so but it's really easy to care for it's machine wash it's tumble dry of course we don't bleach our yarns or anything like that but this yarn is very soft and very plush and I think that it'd be good in general for like amigurumi or even garments things like that does it work on the central knitting machine it's a half and half for me and this could be user error um, maybe in the future i will write a blog post about this yarn as i continue to work with it because i do want to come up with like a one skein or two skein project with this and so it might work out really well in the future i'm currently working on something uh, project wise with the central knitting machine so if you're a member of my super crafty community you can check that out there if you are interested in checking out this yarn for your craft room you can head over to her website which is gushay.com and she gave me an exclusive discount code for my community and it is infinity 10 so my name and the number 10 for 10 percent off your entire purchase so i want to say thank you so much melissa for um this first of all this care package and also extending that discount to my community and i hope that you all enjoy this small business as much as i do um like i said they do have a variety of fibers that i've used in my studio over the years of either making videos or making products for my shop and they are items that i swear by so i'm very excited and happy to have been able to make this video today um this is my last video for a while so um you can read a little bit more about that on my blog page and i'll try to leave that linked as well as melissa's website linked in the description box below as well as the top comment um if you want to keep up with more of my antics in the future you can of course sign up for the newsletter so you get notified when new blog posts go live and when i actually do send out newsletters um which i talked about that in previous posts but anyway I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope this video was helpful. And until we meet again, happy making.